and but welcome back to my card review. I apologize that this video is late. Um, I have been working my ass off. I haven't been sleeping well. And when I finally got a good night sleep, oh my god, I, I think I went to sleep at 11 and then wake up until 12. So I just slap, you know. So uh, yeah, this video is going to be a little bit late. I apologize. But anyway, let's hop right into it. So, like I said, we're continuing on with the two dragons, the two link dragon monsters who I thought were pretty much the heavy that card, but they're not. So we're looking at the second half of those and comparing it to Topologic uh, Bomber Dragon. So this is Vero Low Dragon. See, even by the names, you can kind of tell that, you know, it's just like something gun related, explosive related, something dragon, all right? So um, anyway, let's go ahead. And look at it. So it, it, it's a dark dragon. So this guy's actually a dragon. Topologic was actually a cyber. This is a dragon. Link effect monsters with his markers pointing left, right, bottom left, bottom right. So uh, you put him in the extra deck spot. He points bottom left, bottom right. It's good. Or if you actually have something linked to him from the extra deck and pointing down and you have him in the main monster, he points left and right. So overall, his link marker is actually pretty good. And he doesn't really give anything to your opponent's That's fine as well. He has 3,000 attack and he is... A link four with uh, his materials being three plus effect monsters, so he's definitely a little bit harder to summon than top of like bomber dragon. He needs three plus effect monsters, so uh, they're pretty much the same exact way that you are made with um, top of logic with the effect monsters, just need one more extra monster, so that's going to be a little bit difficult. But uh, let's go ahead and find out if he is worth it with the effect. So um, I believe, I want to say that this is actually going to be the Rivals monster, you know, 3,000 attack to uh, Yusaku's uh, Firewall during the 2,500, so let's go ahead and see. So, uh, neither player can target this card with monster effects. I mean, kind of right there, you know, um, as we know, Firewall Dragon does that whole targeting kind of balance effect back to your hand. Well, we would be back to that track, but he's like, hey, this guy can't be targeted with specifically monster effects. He can't, he can't be targeted by, you know, spells and traps and stuff, but he can't be targeted by monster effects. That's nice. So you can't even target me with like a Castell or a Dark Rebellion or anything like that. But you can't run his ass over with Utopia Lightning. It just easily, you can make those two you make Utopia Lightning. So, you know, give and take, give and take. But it's nice that, you know, just go ahead and slap that in there. That's not even like the, you know, the book of its effect. It's just the first sentence. So let's uh, continue. So once per turn, quick effect. All right. So once per turn, you need to play turn. You can target one face-up monster on the field. It loses 500 attack and defense. So um, it's really just kind of cute. You know, you can just make a... Uh, lose have a monster lose 500 attack and defense. You can use this during the damage step to make sure you win the battle. So pretty much, um, unless your opponent has something that's like what 3,600, they're not running this thing over because this can can just uh, uh, drop it down. So that's pretty good. And um, I'm not gonna be looking at the archetype, the barrel cards, but I know that's like oh when this card is like targeted by a card, you know they like kill themselves or do effects like that. So. That's pretty much what you're supposed to do. You're supposed to use this big monster, then you target um, your other your other Vero cards, and they'll you know kill themselves and uh, they'll you know pop back or pop monsters. So that's pretty much what you're supposed to do. But uh, yeah, and your opponent cannot activate cards that are effects in response to this effect. So that's pretty good too. So you know they could be like, oh, I'm gonna have this monster and I'm gonna try to attack you, and I'm gonna have this strike ready. And you're like, okay, drop your attack by following your attack defense, and then be like, ha, I can strike you, and you'll die. And you'll be like, ah, 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 you know, you can't activate cut defects in response to the effects. Powerful, mystical spells before Manika. So, uh, yeah, that's actually pretty strong as well. So that means that when you're using it with this archetype, you target one of your own Vero monsters, they're going to go off, and your opponent can't even activate card or effects in response to uh, that either. So that, that's pretty powerful as well. Uh, the next effect is at the at the start of the demo step, this card attacks an opponent's monster. You can take control of that opponent's monster to your your zone, and this card points to, but it's sent to the graveyard during the end phase of the next turn. Wow! So you pretty much get like a little temporary standstill. So you attack, if you attack, you snatch up their monster, you just do, do whatever you want with that monster. You can attack with it, you can link with it, you can. Tribute of Sick Girl with C with it, whatever you fucking want with that monster, right? And instead of just giving it back to him, nah, it just sent to the graveyard, like, tack, take, hit you with it, and then during the end phase of the next turn, just be like, meh, goodbye to your monster. Like, yeah, I can understand, I could definitely understand 
um, that it can't be targeted with monster effect. Um, the whole dropping by 500 attack defense, which works with the archetype and it's a mystical spell before, and the whole like temporary stat still take the monster and just throw it away. I can definitely understand why this guy is a three plus effect monster that's a link. You know, like I said this this card is actually powerful as well. So yeah, Verilo Dragon, good job, good job. So anyway, tell me what you guys think about Verilo Dragon in the comment section below. Like I said, I apologize for this video being late. Um, I've been sleeping well. I've been super tired. Homework is. I've been busy. I just life is hard to get really is. So thank you guys for being so patient with me. And you might be able to tell I might be a little bit sick. I don't know. I don't know. My nose, my nose is a little bit stuffed up. And you know, it's the middle of summer and in Las Vegas, and I'm already kind of sick. That's that's great. So anyway, thanks for watching. Thanks for support. I'll see you guys tomorrow with some more. You get related content. Some more. Uh, Tech Force 5. And uh, yeah, thanks for watching.